What's going on you guys? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to train your back. All sections of your back. I'm talking your lats, your traps, even your room boys. So that the middle part of your back, I'm going to show you guys how to train today. So today we're going to be using a single dumbbell. So we're not going to be using any bench. We're not going to be using any other equipment. Just a single dumbbell. So you might have a lightweight dumbbell or a heavyweight dumbbell. I'm going to be doing other videos down the line, you know, separating lightweight dumbbell workouts and heavyweight dumbbell workouts. But for this workout today, we're going to be working with both the heavyweights and a lightweight. So during the video, I'm going to explain to you guys when you'd want to use a lightweight or if that's all you have access to, how many reps and sets you'd want to do if you have lighter weights. So some exercises here are gonna be good with the heavy weights, some are gonna be good with only light weights. Some of them you can do with both. You can do this as a full workout for your entire back, or you can pick out a few workouts and you know maybe mix it up with a bicep workout. I've already done a video like that, so you can go ahead and check that out. Single dumbbell bicep workout as well. So you can mix that up if you wanna, you know, have like a back and bicep day. But if you wanna have a pure back session, you know, a monstrous, you know, gorilla back session, then you might wanna, you know, do this entire workout. So make sure to stick to the plan and follow every tip that I'm going to give you guys throughout the video. Let's get right to it, y'all. <laughs> Okay, here we go. For number one, we've got some lean in side rows. Four sets, eight to 12 reps per arm. So I use a 60 pound dumbbell for this routine. For the first tip for this one, if you have a heavy dumbbell, do about eight reps per arm. If you have a lightweight one, do about 12 to 15 reps per arm. So start by holding the dumbbell along your side while leaning forward with your arm fully extended. All right, here's the next tip for you guys. So use your other hand as support to prevent you from tipping over or falling over. That's very important. It's easy to, you know, tip over when you're doing single arm exercises. Some more tips for you guys. So keep your body stationary, roll the dumbbell along your side. So along your side, not along, not in front of you, just along your side, that's, that's all it is. And while we're at it, you know what to do, man. Give your boy a subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be one of the first to be notified whenever I drop a brand new video. Here's some more tips for you guys. So this one focuses on your lats. So if you wanna build huge lats, you wanna do some rowing. The final tip for this workout, roll the dumbbell as far as you can or until you can feel your back work or until you can feel some tension in your back. Final tip, so take 45 seconds to one minute between each set and one minute between each exercise. Okay, number two right here, lean and hammer rows. Four sets, eight to 12 reps. Weight used for this one was about 80 pounds. Here's my first tip for this one. You wanna use a heavy dumbbell. If you don't have a heavy dumbbell, do 12 to 15 reps instead. Start by holding the dumbbell straight down while leaning forward with your arms fully extended. My next tip for this one, lift dumbbell until it reaches your ab region and your elbows point outwards. So you gotta make sure your elbows stick out outwards and you gotta bring the dumbbell towards your abs. For the next tip for this one right here, keep your body stationary as always. Roll the dumbbell along the center of your body. Okay, here's the next tip for this one. This one focuses on training your rhomboids. Here's another one for you guys. Roll the dumbbell as far as you can or until you feel your back squeeze. Very important for any back exercise. You gotta feel the tension or it's not really working or you're not really working. So also, just make sure to follow the rules for you know taking a break and you know rest between every exercise. Okay, number three, our third row. Lean in neutral rows. Four sets, eight to 12 repetitions each. So for this one, I use 80 pounds as well. Here's my first tip for you guys. If you have a heavy dumbbell, do eight reps. Lightweight, as always, 12 to 15 reps. Start by holding the dumbbell as at both ends, straight down while leaning forward with your arms fully extended. My next tip for this one, lift the dumbbell until it reaches your ab region, just like the last one, and your elbows point outwards. Next pointer here, keep your body stationary just like every single other one we've done and roll the dumbbell along the center of your body. Last tip, 
This one focuses on training your entire upper back, so it's spread across your lats, traps, and your rhomboids. Finally, don't forget the rules for breaks and you know rest time between each exercise. Number four here, rear delts flies. Four sets, eight to 12 reps per arm. 30 pound weight was used in this one because you don't really want to go heavy with this one. So try to stay in the light, you know, lightweight area. So for this one, start by holding the dumbbell in a 90 degree angle in front of you. Next up, you want to twist the dumbbell outward from the center while maintaining the position of your body throughout. So you gotta keep that position of your body. You can't be out, you know, jumping all over the place, moving all over the place. You gotta stay in the same position. Next tip, use your other hand for support. That's pretty much self-explanatory right there. And our next tip here, maintain the same position throughout. Don't move any other part of your body. I already said this one before, but I'm just stressing it out how important it is because it's that important. Okay, the target for this one are your traps and your rear delts. And the last tip for this one, twist the dumbbell as far back as you can or until you feel the tension. Your back gotta squeeze. You gotta feel that squeeze or it's not worth it, y'all. Next up here, we've got some front shrugs, four sets, 15 reps. For this one, you want to go heavy, so I use the 80 pound dumbbell in this. To begin this one, what you want to do is start by holding the dumbbell at both hands with arms fully extended and your head tilted upwards. That's very important. You cannot ignore that. Head has to be tilted upwards. It's easy if you're tilted downwards to do it wrong. My next tip for you guys, so shrug or lift the dumbbell with your shoulders while using your arms only as hooks. So your arms cannot be out there doing the work. Your shoulders gotta be lifting the dumbbell. Nothing else but your shoulders. Next tip for you guys, so keep your body stationary. Shrug the dumbbell along the center of your body. So straight up along the center of your, center of your body. Do not rest the weight on your body because it's easy to you know let the weight rest on your body and just drag it along your body. So don't drag it along your body. You wanna drag it up top away from your body. Some more tips for you guys. So this focuses on training your traps. It's a big trap worker right there. And here's the last tip for this one. So you wanna hold the weight up for one second before letting it down. So every single repetition, you have to hold it up there for a second. Work those traps. Okay, for the next one here, we've got some leaning rear delt flies. Four sets, eight to 12 reps per arm. So I use the 30 pound dumbbell for this workout. The first tip for this one, you want to start by leaning forward and holding the dumbbell in front of you with your elbows slightly bent. To complete one rep, what you have to do is flare the dumbbell out as far as possible while maintaining the position of your body throughout. Here's some more tips for you guys. So use your other hand for support, which is critical with, you know, single dumbbell workouts like this. Okay, this one focuses on your traps, your lats, and your rear delts. So it kind of hits almost every part, you know, of your back. For the last tip for this one, flare the dumbbell out until you feel the tension. Every single rep, you gotta feel it. Okay, the last one, we're at the end. Four sets of reverse shrugs for 15 repetitions. 80 pounds was used for this one. You gotta go heavy. But if you don't have your heavy weights, just go, you know, increase the rep. Increase the rep by like a good amount. So 20 to 30 reps is good for this. So start by holding the dumbbell at the center with your arms fully extended and your head tilted upwards.
Okay, my first tip for you guys, shrug or lift a dumbbell with your shoulders while using your arms as hook only. This applies for every shrug. You should never lift it with your arms, lift it with your shoulders. My next tip for you guys, you want to make sure that you're holding the weight with both hands behind your back. So that's important. This time it's not in front of you, it's behind you. Some more tips for you guys. This one focuses on training your traps just like the last shrugs or any shrugs for that matter. For the final tip for this routine, hold the weight up for one second before letting it down on every single rep. So there you guys have it right there. We are done training our traps, our lats, and our rhomboids. So all sections of our back, basically in this one, using just one dumbbell. Do not forget, make sure you're going high reps if you only have access to a lightweight dumbbell. But if you have a heavy dumbbell, then make sure you're doing, you know, about eight reps to 12 reps, but make sure you're working your back. You gotta be feeling it and make sure you follow all the tips I mentioned or I talked about in the video. If you enjoyed this video right here, you know what to do, man. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe by smashing the red big button down below and turn on notifications by hitting the the, the bell icon right next to the subscribe button so you can be one of the first to be notified whenever I drop a brand new video. But that's all I got for you guys in this one. Thank you for watching. If you want to see some more videos like this one, make sure to click on the video on the screen right now and I'll catch you guys in my next video. It's your boy Midas and I'm out y'all. Peace.